welcome to Western Tech and the HVAC program. Um, it's a trade that's in high demand. There's a lot of opportunities. It's a field that it cannot be outsourced. It cannot be downsized due to the demand that's out there right now. We talk about HVAC as being heating, air conditioning, refrigeration, but it's also ventilation and, and treating that air. So HVAC technicians are very important right now in hospitals, per se, where they're keeping the ventilation system going and try to uh, reduce c contamination uh, in, in hospitals, in clinics, in homes especially as well. So uh, HVAC is a very important uh, uh, trade right now that that's, we can see the importance of in times like this. Uh, it's not just air conditioning, it's not just refrigeration, which those areas are vast and there's a lot of opportunity in those areas, but now we see the importance of air quality and ventilation. There's a lot of different areas that somebody can go into. So we, you know, we think about right away is air conditioning. We think about residential air conditioning. Converting, especially in El Paso area, converting from uh, evaporative cooling to refrigerated air, or what we call refrigerated air or air conditioning. Um, that, can, that conversion, that's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of demand there. Um, or we think of refrigeration as refrigerators in our home. But if we really think about it, refrigeration um, is everywhere we, we, we look at that. We, we see it in uh, restaurants, we see it in supermarkets, anywhere you can think of ice machines. Um, so that part of refrigeration is, is big in itself. Uh, air conditioning, again, homes, but then we think about buildings, school districts, uh, we think about large commercial buildings. Everywhere that, needs, that has or demands some kind of comfort for uh, individuals, we see air conditioning. Um, and then we, we go into deeper as far as controls or building automation and, and high efficiency systems in large buildings. So we need people that are familiar with technology and, and comfortable using computers to help program these systems where we control the air conditioning systems, we control the lighting, we control the ventilation systems through a computer system. So we need a lot of diff uh, a technician that is that it has a lot of skills and a skill set that they pick up in HVAC that allows them to do a lot of different areas. Um, so the skill set you will learn, you will learn um, how to deal with electronics, you'll, do, you'll learn how to deal with electricity, you'll learn how to deal with mechanical systems, compressors, pumps, um, all these different areas where it gives you a skill set where it's a real well-rounded skill set you can use in maybe some different areas that we traditionally don't see or we don't think about as HVAC but that skill set will give you that opportunity to go do those jobs. So here at Western Tech, I mean, as you can see, we have a large, large area uh, where we have strategically sectioned it off to certain areas where we learn according to our, the way we teach it. So our program is an Associates of Occupational Studies degree, a 19 month program when you come in. Um, so when you graduate, you receive an Associates of Occupational Studies from Western Tech, or you have the ability to test for three certifications, including your 608, which allows you to work in the industry. Um, that's a refrigerant handling and recovery certification. Um, you will also submit application for your uh, Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation Technician License. That's a license to be a technician in the state of Texas in the HVAC industry. It comes with tools. You'll have your own hand tools. What we designed the HVAC program to be is to build up on the fundamentals. So we will develop you on the fundamentals of electricity, the fundamentals of and the science behind air conditioning and what we need to know that. And then as we go along, we build you as air conditioning, residential air conditioning, uh, refrigeration, commercial refrigeration, commercial air conditioning, and try to expose you to all the different areas so you can have a well-rounded knowledge when you graduate as an entry-level technician in the HVAC industry. So we are um, what we call the hybrid 80-20. So 80% of the training is done on site, like 20% is done online. Um, you're able to complete 20% of the program um, when you're able to. So you know, whenever you have time or chance, you can complete that part of it. But 80% is done here. We are a hands-on trade, so we take pride in that as, as a department is that you actually get to work on the systems, on the units, 
and that is what's actually learning. So we combined the theory part in the classroom, we get you to that science, these concepts that we're talking about, and then we go and prove them, and we learn about them with hands-on and actual equipment. So we're very proud of that here at Western Tech. So we are designed to bring someone up from zero to an entry-level technician. So yes, if somebody does have some sort of experience uh, or some sort of uh, knowledge in HVAC, yes, they will help them. But if you don't, that's not an issue. We, our program and our design and our training is designed to bring somebody up from zero and bring them up to, to speed in the industry. Our internship program is 160 hours um, of internship. This will include approximately about um, 30 hours of classroom are tied with that internship. So you're able to go out to the industry and work at a, uh, or work alongside technicians, see what they do during their internship. You're able to do that. And as, as you do that, you come back and you're able to share with your classmates and have uh, classroom uh, time to discuss and then sh share ideas and things that you've experienced to combine that whole internship experience. So the forecast is great for the HVAC industry. Um, it's great for the opportunity out there where there's a gap of people that is in need right now and certainly HVAC is an industry that has that. So um, the projections are, whether you, wherever you look, the projections are in the thousands and, and sometimes hundreds of thousands of jobs within the next 10 years that will be open to HVAC industry throughout the, throughout the country. So uh, the demand is high, there's a lot of opportunity. Um, so our internship program is designed to help you with that. So um, right now, a lot of our students are actually being hired at internship sites. The demand is so high that we cannot keep up with it with a request that come in. So we have contractors coming in say, I need technicians, I need technicians, and we sent out all our graduates. So most of our guys right now are getting hired at their internship sites, which means that a student is not looking for a job. Before they graduate, they're already working at their internship centers. The industry is looking, is looking for young men and women uh, that are willing to work, that are willing to, that are they're comfortable with technology because one of the big things and the changes in this industry, besides the fact that there's a lot of demand, is a change in technology. So if somebody's willing to work with technology, comfortable with technology, young person, a young man, young female, we welcome them. Um, there's organizations that help, for example, female students. That are, there's an organization called H, uh, Women in HVAC that actually gives scholarships to uh, offer scholarships to female students in, in looking to enter the HVAC industry. So yes, there's a lot of demand for women, men. As long as you're willing to work, you're comfortable with technology, you like to work with your hands, you like to solve problems, you like to work on your own. Those are the type of people that are interested that, are, that do well in the HVAC industry. This is a career that that cannot be outsourced, that can't be downsized, the demand is there wherever we think about it. If you, if you can think of any type of building, you can think of any type of organization, business, or anything like that that you can think of, there's HVAC tied to that business. So, uh, especially, again, in the medical industry. So, uh, we need to keep operate, operating rooms uh, at the proper temperature, we need to keep blood stored at proper temperature, we need to keep medicine stored at proper temperature. Also you can go in many different directions if you like sales, if you like uh, working with people in the counter, if you like, you know, if you can be a, a technician, a service technician, you can be an installation technician, you can be a sheet metal guy, you can be um, a controls guy if you like working with controls and computer systems and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different areas you can go to, it's not just repairing your bath coolers or anything like that. Or, working on old refrigerators. There's a big area and there's a big demand for technicians right now. So a skill set that's well-rounded, like an HVAC technician, where we can work, we know how to work with electricity, we know how to work with mechanical systems, we know how to pipe, we know how to do this various things in HVAC, which is part of our trade, that gives a skill set uh, high in demand, not only in HVAC, but in other areas you might not think of. Uh, and that's where HVAC technicians come into play in the importance of HVAC.